Or Cumberland County isn't one of the first places you think of when you think Hurricane Sandy damage. But the 2012 superstorm swept Gandy's beach houses into the Delaware Bay, collapsed roads, and simply scattered their concrete block barriers, which is why the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was awarded nearly $900,000 of funding to make sure it doesn't happen again. And construction on the new Gandy's Beach barriers took place today. Installment of the new oyster reef breakwater structures will stabilize almost 3,000 feet of shoreline in Cumberland County. The reefs will provide a natural defense against storms that will hopefully be more effective than the concrete barriers were last time. It's going to help uh, reduce the uh, habitat loss and erosion that's happening at the property um, and also create uh, structures uh, near shore in the water that uh, are habitat for uh, fish and crabs uh, and shellfish. And then next year in 2016, we'll be doing a, a larger scale uh, construction um, across the shoreline here uh, that will be the, the full project. The project, which has also been brought to classrooms to educate students on shellfish, is a group effort made up by the Nature Conservancy, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Partnership for the Delaware Estuary, and the Rutgers Shellfish Research Team.